Ski Report time. And I think this picture pretty much sums up uh, the conditions today at Schweitzer. Big powder smile, beard full of snow. And uh, I understand it was just one of those amazing, amazing powder days. And believe me, there's plenty left over uh, for you. Here's the ski report seven inches in the last 24 hours. And it was still snowing this afternoon at Schweitzer. Lookout Pass, eight inches of new, plenty of snow there. Fabulous, dry, fluffy powder at Lookout Pass. Here's the big winner, though 49 degrees north, and it was Toyota Free Ski Day there. So Certainly, they had a huge crowd, 23 inches powder. It was still snowing throughout the day, so if you go tomorrow, you'll still find stashes. Seven inches of new stuff at Mount Spokane, a great night for night skiing. Six inches at Silver Mountain, but the groomers have been out, so powder is not your scene. They're still going to find uh, some good skiing to be done this weekend. It's going to be a little bit warmer. The sun's going to come out and soften everything up. This is my type of skiing. This time of year is my favorite. Here's the Doppler radar right now. We do still have a few hit and miss snow showers around the region. These will be tapering off this evening, but not coming to a complete end. We are under an upper level trough that's going to keep things unsettled for the next couple of days that will produce a hit and miss snow shower here and there, mainly over the higher terrain. Computer model forecast over the next uh, several hours taking you through Saturday morning shows that the last of the snow showers coming to an end, although we still wouldn't rule out a mountain snow shower, should see some sunshine tomorrow uh, as the day goes on. Wake up a little bit of fog. Here's the reason that we're still fairly unsettled. This upper level trough over the entire western United States, the majority of the energy with this system is to our south, but we will still be in and out of the clouds and not uh, completely dry for the next few days. Days. Here's a look at our national satellite and radar. Once you get beyond this trough, it's pretty quiet, pretty quiet. And then we hit this nor'easter that has been a major headache today uh, throughout the East Coast and is continuing to cause problems. 1.6 million people without power, 24 inches of snow in 24 hours in some locations, heavy surf. 70 mile per hour winds and flooding rains, and that's going to be around uh, really through the weekend. It's going to continue to cause problems. High temperatures across the nation, some signs of spring 70 in Denver today, 66 in Oklahoma City, it was 57 in Nashville, 44 in New York City, 45 in Seattle, and 51 in Portland. Here's your seven day forecast. Looking forward to a Nice weekend. Temperatures remain below average. Our average high now is well into the mid 40s. We'll be in the 30s on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Monday, dry, 38, and then back up to average by Thursday and Friday with the return of some rain. Return of the rain. Yes. I like that 47 out there, though. Warmer sounds good for me. I, me too. Yes. Thanks, Chris.